Hello, and welcome to my reaction of this thing. Uh, it's gonna be great. I hope. Well, this is the Oogie Loves, for starters. Uh, Lionsgate, you should be ashamed of yourself. But, you know, it's fine. Oh, I hate it already. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, my God, they're so ugly. Why would they think kids would enjoy this? They're disgusting. They are disgusting looking. This is not a start to your movie. No. Just imagine, I just imagine all the parents watching this right now and just thinking, oh no, what have I done? Hey, there it is. There's the, there's the fantastic title, The Oogie Loves. What's an Oogie Love? Like, is this film gonna go into the Oogie Love lore at all? Because I would like that. That looks terrible. <laughs> that is really ugly. Oh god. Alright, well, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. You know, it might not be horrible. It's a pretty lackluster opening, but maybe it'll come back. You know, it's still early enough. Nah, never mind. That's ugly! What kid would enjoy this? This is hideous. Okay, fish don't sleep. They hover in the bowl. What am I talking about? Oh, okay. Alright, we're just, I mean, we're down the rabbit hole at this point. Anything's possible. What? What's happening? Oh, this is the accident that, that kicks off the plot. Okay, well now that we've properly set up the conflict that we've got to get the balloons back, uh, now we can get this show on the road. Oh, good. Glad to establish that running gag. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's sing. Uh, okay. I'm not... Can I hit mute during these? Wow, this is really good choreography. So this movie had a $20 million budget. And it spent $40 million more dollars on marketing and advertisements. And then it made $1 million at the box office. And all I can say is, it, it, it's just like watching money burn on screen. Which, and it's pretty great. Is this still going? It's a song about flapjacks. Why are we singing about flapjacks? Yeah, we're all gonna remember the great flapjack song. Just go, go on the road, do something. Oh, thank God. Are those turtles stop motion? That's what it looks like. Probably not. How does he move when he's not plugged in? See, I'm asking the important questions. Who are you? Who are these characters? Why? Ching Chow. Ching, that was a little bit racist, I gotta say. I don't appreciate what this movie's going for. It's clearly going for a bit more kid-friendly tone, you know, this is clearly not a movie made for someone my age, but at the same time, you know, good is good, you know? No matter who the target demographic is, you know, there should be stuff to admire, no matter who you are, right? And, um, I, I don't have much. Oh, it's a tree pot. I get it. What the... what? There are humans in this world? This is really good lip syncing. Okay. You know, I'm glad this movie's singing about the important parts, like breakfast or lowering ladders. What, that was just the beginning? I know how to climb a ladder. Every kid, it's one of the most basic forms of dexterity. Why are you singing about this? Wow, this movie's really padding for time. Yeah. It's really nice that they put that stuff there in front of the screen because kids are so stupid that they don't know when a song is playing and when they're allowed to sing along. Wait, is that... Is that... Meemaw from Raising Hope? 
I think it is. Okay. Well, it's good to see she's really got her priorities straight. You know, her career is clearly in a good place. You see, the problem is there's no conflict right now. Technically, there is a conflict, but they're not worried about it. Like, you need to have something at stake, but the characters don't really seem to care about getting the balloons back in time. You know, you need some form of intensity, something to make the movie exciting, but the characters are just so nonchalant about it. So there, there are no stakes. That's very perverted, Grandma. We just had a ladder song two minutes ago. Hey, how come you're not doing the sing-along thing over this one? How am I supposed to know the lyrics? Kids are stupid, they can't sing along to this unless you have lyrics. I just imagine the theaters playing this and all the kids just being obnoxious and the parents wanting to kill themselves. What are we singing about right now? They're just going up the tree to get the balloon. Like, why are we doing this? There's no sense of urgency to the story if the characters are just willing to just do all this stuff and not worry about getting the balloons. Like, why should I care? Stop singing. Stop singing. Stop singing! This is going on for so long! Oh my god! This is really intense. I I'm at the edge of my seat right now. Like, will he be able to get the balloon? I don't know. Yeah, well, what, you're not gonna sing the climbing the ladder song this time? I'm disappointed. You really should have called back to that. This movie's just finding anything it can do to pad out the runtime. So they're sentient balloons. That's what that's what's special about them. Why don't we just get normal balloons? You know, just cheap out for the party. That's what you should have done. Yay. The first, but certainly not last, callback of that great running joke. Wow. This is next level padding. They're gonna sing that every time, I'm sure. Every single time. Oh my god, that's ugly. That is so ugly. This film is nightmare fuel. Wham, bam, pow. Googie love, can you hear me now? No. Oh, I wasn't supposed to sing the first time? What? It doesn't... Okay. In Sesame Street, they establish it's just like a neighborhood. But what's the rules of this world? How did the balloons get separated? They were all together. They should all be in one place. Wow, look at those extras. They want to kill themselves. Alright. How many songs have happened so far? If we include the intro... Before the movie even starts, we have the get out of bed song, we have the breakfast song, we have the climbing up the ladder song, we have the shake it body pervert song, and then we have the oogie love dance song, and we also have the one two one two blah 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 window song, and then we have this one. So that's eight. We've had eight songs so far, and I'm sure there will be more. You know what I want to see? I want to see a movie that looks like this, but it's actually a really clever satire of kids' movies. Is there a movie like that? I don't mean like Sausage Party. Sausage Party might look like it, but it never even attempts to mimic kids' movie, you know? I mean like a movie that actually manages to trick people into thinking it's a kids' movie, and then all of a sudden it's super perverted. You know, who knows, maybe that's what this movie is, you know? Maybe halfway through they'll just start saying F-words over and over. And it'll turn out to be this really great satire of children's films. That'd be great. We're singing about the dumbest things. It's a milkshake. Like, all of these songs have just been padding. Just, just create, you make, make the milkshakes. These songs go on forever. It's time to race. 
I'm serious, man. This guy is totally trying to cat some mimic Louis Armstrong's voice. I like looking at the extras and all their fake smiles. That being said, those people, I mean, they should be ashamed of themselves. In many ways, this movie is inspired by the Odyssey, you know? You know, it's a bunch of characters just on a journey and all the hardships they encounter. But despite all of this, you know, they still get through. Stop it. Oh my god, so much padding. This movie is 90% padding. They're sheep? Why? This film's just making it up as it goes along. Like, I do not enjoy this world they've created. Like, where did this come from? This movie feels like a children's film that was made by people who just hate children. We're singing about sneezing? What's the next song gonna be about? Is it gonna be about walking? Is it gonna be about breathing? Oh my god, he's doing the Michael Jackson. Oh my god, is he gonna make it? Oh my god, oh my god. Wow, they really are gonna sing that every time. That's great, okay. Oh no, redneck territory. They'll never make it. Oh my god, we're singing this again. Testing, testing, wham and pow. This movie is really great at not feeling long. Okay, well this guy clearly has some kind of brain damage. Seems I have some visitors, don't you know? That's dubbed over. That is definitely dubbed over. You're not disturbing me. That is so clearly dubbed over. That is not his real voice. He's, that is so obviously done in post. I know it's dumb to even bother pointing out because this movie sucks, but I don't know. I just find it funny. I've said it once, I'll say it again, this film has no conflict. Nothing matters, it's just nonsense. You know what, I was kind of reluctant to say it before, but no, I'll say it, this guy's in the closet. But I appreciate that this movie is representing gay people, especially gay rednecks. You know, those are hard to come by. Wow, this is great. I love this, song number 12. Yeah, I love this. I'm so bored. I did not think it was going to be this boring. This movie is such a drag. Just, just shoot me. This is still going. You're singing about wobbling. What else are you going to sing about? Are you going to sing about feet? Are you going to sing about eyeballs? Oh, here it comes. Yay! Yes, it's the greatest running gag ever. Pick up your pants, Toofy. I, I can feel myself dying right now. This is going on forever. This isn't even that long of a movie. It's slightly less than 90 minutes, but it's so long. Yeah, get the balloon. And let's move on to the next boring area. Uh, 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 oh my god. Yeah. It's like staring into the void. What's the point of this movie? It's not educational. It's not something anyone over the age of like one could enjoy. Wow. How did the balloon get all the way up? There? I don't know. How did the balloons get anywhere? You didn't even establish that. Like, how do the balloons fly sideways and then split up in so many crazy different directions? I wonder if Watch Mojo has made a video about like top ten worst movies to live in. Cause I think this is one of them. This would be a miserable universe to be in. You're just surrounded by characters that are happy and bubbly and you just want to die I speak it in English most that's racist El Sombrero boarded 
at the top of the stage. Wait, so is, she, is it Spanish or is it Jamaican? Because it was talking like, I speak the English, man. But now it's kind of sounding Spanish. I don't know. None of this matters. None of this matters. Is that the set? Is that it? Okay. No, don't you dare. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, this is gonna go on for another five minutes. And then it's, none of it's gonna matter. Is that Christopher Lloyd? Looks like him. <laughs> What the hell's with the frame rate? That was weird. This is so weird right now. Why is it doing that? What? What? What is happening right now? Why does the frame rate look like that? I'm so confused. This is normal. Am I losing my mind? Is the movie even playing? Or have I just sunken into madness? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, no, this movie needs an adult. This is a very perverted movie, disguised as a sappy kids film. Yeah, I knew this was coming. You can do it, Ruffy, you can do it. You can do it, Ruffy, you can do it. You can do it, Rafi. You can do it. Just make it end. Get the balloon. Go back, have the party, and then end this goddamn movie. Please. Oogie love. Oogie love. Oogie love. Alright. Why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta have one more song before the last song. Uh, uh, it's like a really disgusting ASMR now. Just kiss sound effects. Okay, let's go there now. You know what, forget it. I'm done. I'm just like, this movie sucks. This is garbage. This is trash. This movie is the Satan's anus. Just, just secreted this, this thing. This stupid movie. This stupid waste of everyone's time. This movie is filth. This movie is a sin against nature. And the. Uh, stop! Just stop the movie! Stop the movie, please! Turn off the movie. I'm, I'm just... I, I'm sorry if this isn't a very interesting commentary. But I got nothing. Like, what do you say to this? It's just nonsense. It's so long. Like, why was this a full movie? Why not just some stupid 30 minute film? Screw you. Screw you. It's just everybody who's involved with this movie just needs to just. They need to atone for their crimes. I hate everything about this. This is an abomination. How dare you? How dare you? People threw money at this. This movie had a budget. People spent millions of dollars to make this. All I'm saying is, it's a real shame we never got Inugi Loves 2, you know? We really deserved one. Stop singing! Please, just stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, you had to edit in kids, kids applauding, because they definitely weren't applauding there. It's over. The damn movie's over. Oh my god. Alright, I, I don't know what to say. You know, it's over. So, 
Um, I'm sorry for everything. You know, the people who made this should be ashamed of themselves. And furthermore, I should be ashamed of myself for for watching this. Um, I'm really, I'm glad you, I'm glad you got to see this with me. You know, I love all of you. Um, remember to um, like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't. You know, I don't control you. You're, you're the master of your own universe. You're really, you do what you feel is right. But I think I deserve something from this. You know, like I deserve something after suffering through this. Whatever, I'm done, goodbye.